Hello and welcome to another episode of Your Nerd BS. Uh, I'm Alan and this is Wednesday, September 21st of the year 2022. Of our Lord and Savior. It's episode 43 already? I know, I always want to say that, but I feel like that's (laughs) It's just weird. Uh, But it is episode 43. and how you guys doing? I got uh, I got I got Tomas over here. He just he just yapping before he was signaled. Yeah, I didn't order. I didn't I didn't see the green light. I just oh yeah, just it. yeah it was not time for you to talk. But how are Oper- you? Doing? <laughs> Opportunity knocks and I answered the door. I'm doing <laughs> I'm doing all right. My stomach's a little messed up. I'm also I don't know why, but I am super tired. So I'm a little I think I'm a little giddy, but we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. You can hear uh, Kyle over there chuckling. Hey, you know, Kyle. Here I am, rocky like a hurricane. I'm rocky doing all right. Like a hurricane. All right. Um, so, I mean, you guys do anything exciting this week? What, what anything crazy happen? Anything fun? Crazy. We anything had a yard crazy? sale. Had a yard sale? And I didn't want to do it. but So we, we live in like a gated community, right? So when we have a yard sale, it's a community yard sale. So like everyone gets a chance. If you want to do yard sale, like that's the day, and you get a lot, like a lot of foot traffic. It's actually really nice. And if you you know do if you if you get a lot of stuff out there, you can make some good money. I just didn't want to do it like that day. I don't like getting boxed in to that day, you know. But otherwise, you can't really do it because we have gates and no one can get in. But they they open them for the community yard sale. So anyways, we got all this stuff ready the night before. By the way, everyone, Carol lives in a castle. So okay. it's a small castle, <laughs> but castle nonetheless. Um, yeah. So we had all well, we have all this baby stuff too, like big, <clears throat> bulky things and chairs and stuff. So like we have all these big items and we put it all in the hallway. And I get up the next day. I'm like, I just don't want to do it. I'm not going to do it. But then I remember, like, what what's all? Well, that's that stuff's already out. You can't go back. <laughs> We already put stuff in there, in like in those spots. So I finally, like 9 a.m., which is way too late for yard sales, I finally drag all the stuff out there. And I just, any like, whatever offer I get, I just sell it all in 20 minutes. And go, all right, <laughs> call it a day. I feel like yeah, I got, I still got baby stuff in my shed, too. Oh, I'm dude. Rid of as well. yeah, it's it, like so far back, and there's things that are in front <laughs> of it now that's like I got to move things to get to things, and I'm just like, uh this is yeah. not my project I need to do to get to some of the things yeah. I want to get rid of. So. And you can't just have a yard sale either. No, I can't. I can't just have a yard sale. I mean, you could try. I mean, yeah, you, you could try. try. <laughs> Sit on the, uh, the, the, on the highway. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of work. Uh, so. But what anyways. about you, Alan? Can you do anything? Uh, me, personally? Uh, been working. Uh, a lot of office work and stuff. Nothing... Nothing too exciting, uh, to be honest, uh, besides some gaming here and there, which I'll talk about later. A lot of Splatoon 3 whenever I get a chance. Um, that's been a lot of fun. Uh, Splatfest. Yeah, Splatfest is coming up. It's not – so I, I said in the Discord that it was like like uh, that weekend. I was like, I, I, But I was mistaken. I've it never was, understood oh. – I, I've played the second one, and I've played the first one, too, but I played mostly the second one. And I did a lot of Splatfest, but I guess I never understood how they work. I see. Uh, yeah, so you have, like, a pre-weekend. You have the weekend before, mm-hmm. which is, like, the setup. Mm-hmm. And then you get a week to set up the uh, – to get the uh, – your gear leveled up or whatever. And then you got the next weekend, which is the actual Splatfest. Yeah, so you, where this, you pick your where team. The pre. So I was like under the impression I was like, oh, let's go, let's do Splatfest, and I was, it was not Splatfest time. Yeah, so I, I see that now. The coming the weekend now. This coming. Well, good because I missed the whole weekend. I didn't play at all. Well, you, so I think you can still go on and pick your team. I, I believe don't know. so. Yeah, I'm I don't know sure how it all works, but I, I would hope so. If, why not? So, but that is coming up, and that'll be fun. Uh, gear. We're choosing gear. So if you want to be in our team, you got to pick Ooh, all right. gear. Good it's to know. Gear. So it's if you're trapped on a deserted island, uh, you got to pick what you would what you want. You want gear, grub, or fun. Those are the fun. three options. 
Who's picking fun? Fun just seems like a bad option. Oh, yeah, it's just oh. you want to just die right away. <laughs> like that's yeah, that's that's what you're telling me. <laughs> well, like, there you go. That's why that's why we picked gear. Uh, actually, the only reason I picked gear was because Shiver was the one who picked you. I think your name's Shiver. Uh, out of the three new hosts, that's my preferred. And so oh, I didn't really definitely. care about the topic that much, so I was like, I'll just go with whatever she picks. And also, uh, interesting. Yeah, and also this my is a, the, this too. is an AI host, right? Yeah, an AI, a, an AI host. Yes. So now, now we're listening to the robots. I'm not. I'm not like yeah. judging you because I do it too. But I just had a realization that this is where we've come. Yeah. Well, we're listening. I mean, Skynet. I just think she looks the most interesting out of the. Uh, three no, I know. Hosts. I get what you're that's, saying. That's it's... probably how they got people with Terminator. Like, who looks most interesting? <laughs> this Arnold dude. Let's use him. Like, yeah, um, we all have for the computers. Not a leap pocket, at all. So it's not. Really, it's <laughs> it's not. It's not. Right yeah, but like, it's not like you listen to you know <laughs> someone on YouTube who's like, "Hey, I'm going to be on Gear." It was somebody computer generated. Well, it was like each of the hosts is like contributing to one. They pick one of the topics. Yeah, but they're just not. I love how people. defensive you're getting about this, Alan. I know. I'm not trying like, to like I'm just attack curious you. Where you guys are actually going with it? I'm just. I'm saying, just as, more in, in general, we are listening. We're we're picking things based off what a computer generated AI simulated character is telling us. Not so you know, not like a real person on YouTube. Like, hey, I'm going to be on the gear team. You know? Let's just say we're not listening to people anymore. I, mean, I would argue that's that, what. I, yes, thank you, Tomas. I mean, the the YouTube people who who knows how real they are, anyways. They're 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 just, they're just controlled <laughs> by their sponsors, right? They're just talking so. heads. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, um, before we get, we, we we're gonna pull out of that AI uh, conspiracy theory stuff, and uh, yeah. just, you can go that to the segment social doesn't exist. The AI doesn't exist. We that's should just, have the <laughs> AI discussion of the week. Uh, I'm, I'm ready, um, but, but we it doesn't have our exist, social right? It's nonsense, the, the yeah. Social nonsense that you can go check out <laughs> uh, with all the AI. They they control your feeds, um, but hopefully they'll point some people towards our feeds of Please. at nerd underscore bs, uh, which is our Twitter and uh, my personal Twitter is at scat matrix, um, and. Our email is nerdbackstory at gmail.com. Um, contact any of those places and you can join our Discord. I'll also have the Discord link in the bottom of the video. If you are in an old video, uh, I think the link will expire. So you'll have to check one of the newer videos or contact us and ask for uh, an actual invite. Um, either way, that's how you can join. And we, we can talk about all sorts of things before this. I think we, we had a whole discussion about... Um, the Nintendo Direct as, or at least w around when it was happening. Um, we were talking about it here and there, and also memes and other things that we talk about. And uh, I've been actually, I keep tagging everybody in there, uh, trying to get people to play Splatoon with me. So that usually Just happens trying. too. So yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying. And I get some people to, to play some you know games uh, in the Discord, but uh, people have been busy recently with the games. But anyways, uh, we got uh, Kyle over here. He spoke up. Well, why don't you go with your socials real quick, and then we'll go to Moss. We'll go after him. Well, yeah, you can find me at Skybossin Video Games at Instagram, and uh, yeah, I have sales on there. It links to where I sell stuff. So we got a little side hustle, Skybossin. Check, right, check it out. Uh, yeah, I. I have a Twitter and Instagram. Both of them are at TomasFDS86. Uh, I haven't been able to post too much there recently. I've been working on editing my second book. Um, but uh, I plan on posting some stuff up there soon, hopefully. Also, I have a website, TomasFDS.com, where I post all my short stories. Again, I haven't posted a short story in a while. But I do plan on posting one hopefully in the next month or so. So yeah, that's me. Hey, is All your right. book is your book out? The published book? Uh, nope, still waiting on the editor to get back to me. The cover got finished. Um like okay. I think I told you about that though, but the editor's just waiting on just waiting on him. Gotcha. It's a patience game now. 
Okay, I'm sure you'd let us know when it comes out. I'm just yeah, I yeah. I will we, definitely. Would have, I would hope he announces it immediately. <laughs> I will definitely uh, let Discord. people know. Uh, yeah, yes. I, I definitely let people know. Tomas, feel <laughs> free to join the Discord. Yeah, Discord. I I try to, but yeah, I haven't. I've been, yeah, I I don't got a good excuse other than <laughs> I've been working on the book, so that's no, that's my best the honesty. excuse. <laughs> I know you're only you're only on the device where Discord lives. You're yeah, it's just but it's it's distracting <laughs> when you're typing. The AI. Anyways, um, I I don't know if you guys remember that little thing called uh, Star Wars. Uh, it's been pretty in the back, you know. We've kind of you know they've given us a long time to kind of forget about it. Is this um, the one with that like Vulcan guy and the. Uh... Yeah. Beat me up, Scotty, and that one, right? Anyway, I think, was it, I think James, I just James Lucas out. made it. James, James Lucas, Lucas. James yeah, Lucas. I know it was James Lucas <laughs> told it to raise me. Uh, Andor's out. I don't know if you guys remember Andor. Andor is actually, if I remember correctly, Andor was one of the first series that was like announced. I remember yeah, when it was, it was announced. announced yeah, it was announced right uh, not too long after, um, and, th- and I guess I could be wrong because I'm not looking at anything. But I remember it being announced after Rogue One came out, like a little bit after. They were just like, "Oh, by the way, um, we're gonna do oh, really? a series about Dang. this one character." That was a hot minute. Yeah, I know. And now we've had actually quite a few shows pop up before it came out. So this has been a while in the making, and. Um, I really liked Rogue One, so I definitely was, you know, kind of excited. And this was back in the the birth of the redawn of like Star Wars being like redawn thing again. That's I don't know a what good you'd call word it. for it. No, that's that would have been that would have yeah. been a good Star Wars movie. Yeah, it would have been. Yeah, Just, uh, but it alone. was like we got we got you know the Force Awakens. Was that the one? Yeah, that was the first one. Uh, yeah, the yeah, yeah. And then. Uh, and then, we then got after that, I honestly Rogue don't one. remember. Well, Rogue well, One was the, ne- the second one. No, no, but I meant, I meant the second one, and then it was I Solo. meant, uh, but I meant like what the trilogy after Force Awakens is what was the, the second. Is the, is the, uh, the current trilogy, I guess that's now. Yeah. Right. So what was the second movie in that one? The last I can't Jedi. even remember the name. The Last Jedi. Yes. I thought that was the third one. No, yeah, that's the last one was Re- the Revenge uh, of Skywalker. Revenge of Skywalker. <laughs> oh, the yeah. word. Okay, yeah. Rise, Rise of Skywalker. Skywalker? Yeah, no, Rise I said Skywalker. Revenge on purpose, but you I couldn't did. remember. Yeah. It was um, Rise, yeah. Yes. <laughs> but anyways, I think this is the first one that came out, but this was the first, Rogue One was the first movie that was kind of showing what they were going to do with Star Wars. They gave us this idea where we were going to start doing some side stuff, some different mm-hmm. Uh, uh, feeling movies, which I really felt Rogue One nailed uh, doing Star Wars, but in a different um, vibe. It felt like more like a war movie, not a Star Wars movie, which mm-hmm. I really enjoyed about it for the simple fact that it expanded uh, what Star Wars could be. And then after that, every other movie decided to just try to do the same note, except for The Last Jedi, which is the only one I think was a little more experimental. Um, but we saw how that went. Right. Uh, either way, everything has kind of been around the same note or the same style um, besides Rogue One. And I was really hoping we'd get more different stuff, but we didn't. Uh, but now we're actually getting Andor, which is a, I'm guessing a pre- it's got to be a prequel to Rogue One because if I remember correctly, they all die in Rogue One. So I feel uh, like yeah. that this is a prequel. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so many, what are they called? Many things died. What I uh, bo- bothans, yeah, Which there you go. Sense. But so that was so the bothan <laughs> one is actually about the second Death Star, not the first one. Oh, uh, that's, uh, many, right, that's right. This is Mon Matha. Many bothans died to bring us these plans, <laughs> but she's uh, in this one, <laughs> yes, she is. Uh, she's this one. Which um, you know, we've all been clamoring for Mon Matha to finally get I mean, her. Everybody own show. loves Mon Matha, I think she was. Was a vital piece in the uh, the uh, um, the last the last of the prequel. Oh my goodness, I cannot remember the name. <laughs> of that. The original. Oh, I, I can literally look up on my posters. Return of the Jedi. Uh, she was the, uh, the you forgot the piece. 
You forgot the, the original movie trilogy's title. names? Yeah, wow. I know, okay. and I'm literally well, looking at my posters right there. Uh, <laughs> That's unforgivable, but we'll it really move on. is. Um, well, Return of the Jedi is probably the worst of the original trilogy, uh, anyways. You bite your tongue. Eh, I stand by my statement. Those uh, but anyways, were amazing. Anyways, uh, yeah. so so Andor is now finally coming out. Uh, so did you guys even like Rogue One? I, I remember it was pretty mixed. I liked it. it. So you didn't I like did it. Not. I did yeah, not. Yeah, I did. I think I remember you saying that you didn't like it. Um, I know a lot of people claim or, or, or say, and I, and, I, and I actually agree with them, it is, it is a bit slower, especially early in the film. It is a very, it's much slower than uh, uh, some of the other Star Wars movies. So, But it was definitely going for, like I said, a different vibe. Um, but I really enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. So I am excited uh, for this one. Uh, I am curious to see what you guys think about it. And I'm curious if it's going to be different than the shows we've been, we've been getting. I mean, we we all have a pretty bad taste from Obi-Wan. So I don't yeah. know. What do, you guys, what, do you, what do you guys think about this? That's the thing. We're going into I it. I don't know. Where I'm already bitter from the last show. So the expectations are like super low. Yeah. You yeah. know, <clears throat> and... We haven't seen a Mandalorian season in a while, and uh, they're working yeah. on a season. We did get an announcement too. for the, le- the the next season, so yeah, I yeah. This, well, the announcement's out, but so we just we haven't had the the actual show though. No, like mm-hmm. it, Boba Fett was okay. Well, we had like what Mandalorian two point five from Boba. Fett. Yeah, but overall, Boba Fett was okay. Yeah, at best. And um, but the thing is, uh, with this show, like. There's, it's wide open, right? There's not much you have to retcon for these characters because they're not tied in with the Skywalkers that much. So, well, uh, Andor it, is. I, I, well, kind of. Another, I would say it's another show that we know this where the stakes are because a lot of these characters in this trailer. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys have watched the trailer yeah. better than the, than the outline, the most current one. Um, but a lot of the characters that are in that trailer are in the movie or in other movies. Yeah. So yeah. none of them, a lot of them can't die. So yeah, I get where, what are you're the, where are the stakes? They're going to, well, they're going to add a new character. They're going to add a couple new characters. Of course. So that the, so that's there. Well, they're going to give us, well, let's be real though. They're going to give us like what? Young adult Leia. They're definitely going to do that. They're... You think so? No yeah, because oh, no. I think dude, they learned their lesson. I hope they learned really their after what they did with Obi Wan. They're definitely going to bring Leia into. They got. What I you, I you mean the kid the kid Leia? Yeah. Was this it is, Leia on Andor? Not. Leia was in Rogue One. She was. Very but wasn't. Adult. But yeah. wasn't Leia part of Andor? Like that. That's her homeland, isn't it? You mean Alderaan? Oh. Oh, I'm thinking of Alderaan. That's what I'm thinking of. Okay, never mind. Andor's a I'm character. Sorry. That, that's the guy. <laughs> Shut up, Al. Well, no, I'm on Al's side this time. <laughs> I was confused. It took me a second there. I was like, Wait, no, I missed. Yeah, I, I misspoke. I thought for some okay. reason that yeah, it was yeah. on. No, no, this is Andor was one of the characters uh, in, so, in uh, Rogue One. Was yeah, um, gotta... Skarsgård the, uh, the, the actor? Um, the guy that's in the Thor movies, mm-hmm. that's in the trailer. Do you know who I'm talking about? I think so. Stellan Skarsgård, that older guy. He's the like professor in the Thor movies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He, was he in Rogue One? Do you? I don't. I can't recall. Mm-hmm. If I don't remember. Not. Oh, okay. I gotta well, look. I gotta look. Here, talking about. Now. It's been a while since I've seen. So him. he uh, is a really good actor. I yeah, enjoy watching him. I like so, all the Skarsgårds, to be honest. There's him, and then there's two brothers, aren't there? Alexander and there? yeah, oh, there's Alexander yeah. and there's oh, another. Oh no, those brother. are his. Uh, those are his kids. I know, but there's but they're brothers, Alexander and and Bill. I forget his brother's name, but yeah, yeah. and then their dad is oh, the other Scarsgar. Yeah, his uh, one of the one of them played uh, the clown in it. So. Yeah, it, they actually do a lot of movies. I Imogen uh, actually pointed them out to me because I, I forget what movie we were watching, but there were two of the Scars Guards in it. And I was like, man, these guys are really good. I like almost every movie I've seen with them. And she's like, oh, yeah, they're really big. It's 
she went on and on and i was like oh i didn't know they were a whole dynasty yeah i didn't realize either i'm I'm down the rabbit hole right now yeah but they're like a whole dynasty and for the most part if i see scarsgar is in it any one of them in a movie i'll watch it and i haven't been disappointed so so i mean the movie the movie might be bad but their acting is always on point i can never it all their acting always manages to suck me into the story like yeah i always like them good good sucking action (laughs) alexander skarsgård yeah and then he has a brother i believe i don't think he's in no no the the dad it's uh no the dad is i think who kyle was talking about so yeah, um, he's in the. <clears throat> excuse me, he's in the trailer, and I'd be it'd be fun if he's in the whole show because he's really good. Yeah, I don't I can't think remember. he was in the original one. No. I didn't. I couldn't recall. Yeah, I didn't think he was. So that may well. There you go. They're gonna. Yeah, he's not. He's not in it. Yeah. They're gonna develop him. He's gonna get killed. He's gonna get killed. And then it's gonna get lead right into Rogue One, or uh, who knows? Maybe they're leaving it wide open for more seasons. I they, I really hope they don't, and that's kind of why one of the reasons why I liked Rogue One so much too was it was kind of a twist ending at the same time, you know, because everybody dies, and it makes sense when you watch the movie that you know that they all died because they were trying to do a specific task. Yeah, it's essentially a yeah. suicide well, mission. Well, one of the things, well, you, yeah, you just kind of said right there, Alan. One of the things that I liked about it is so many times in Hollywood they talk about like, oh, this is a suicide mission. We're going in and we're, we're in the, we're going to be in the shit now and blah, blah, blah. (laughs) And then they go in and they just wipe the floor with the bad guys. And it's like, oh yeah, I got grazed by a bullet, whatever. And so I actually liked Rogue One because when they said it was a suicidal mission, it was a suicidal mission. It was not. I did like the characters. Like the whole Like Bay's. And the blind guy, yeah, they were, loved, they were pretty uh, fun. Donnie, yeah, I'll admit that. Character. Yeah, um, I, I I really liked that movie a lot, and that was it was kind of it kind of made it make sense or put it into scale for Star Wars, where you have a planet that like that it was being attacked like that, like there's nowhere yeah. to go, and I yeah. did like how they were kind of stuck there, and I it was I thought it was a very uh, touching scene at the end, you know, and when they're kind of watching the uh, basically the blast come. Uh, mm-hmm. But uh, but yeah, so I, that's why I am kind of excited for this because it is made by the, uh, it's directed by the same director, I think. Um, and there's some, some people, some background people from uh, Born Identity uh, and oh, stuff cool. like that. So I'm curious to see I'm, uh, I'm going to have to rewatch Rogue One because you guys are selling it to me. I have yeah, yeah, Blu-ray. Really like it, it is slower. I will say, yeah, that. yeah. But, one, but, but once I'm it not, kicks off too, towards the end, it's it's, it's much. There's a lot. I'm not opposed yeah. to that if it's a good movie, and I do remember yeah. liking that it led literally right up to a new hope. Like, yes, you could watch those back to back, and it wouldn't like yeah. it almost you wouldn't I, miss too much. Yeah. And know? while I loved Rogue One, I hated the CGI for Tarkin and for Leia. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, dreadful. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. pulled me out of the movie both times. I was like, yeah. you got to be kidding me. I and forgot about they were that getting one. like praises for it, too. Yeah, it didn't make I, any sense to me. I was like, what? I this looks awful. Well, yeah. I, could, like, I don't even know how to do any of that, so I get it. But, but however, to, to, give, to go on your side, Alan, I did see someone do a deep fake that yeah. looked like 10 times better. Yeah, so, there's, you know, a, there's a group on YouTube... There. There's a group on YouTube that I really like. I, I've seen a couple other things. I can't remember them off the top of my head, but it's like they do stuff like stuntmen react and uh, oh, yeah. animators react. Corridor things like crew, that. I think. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. That might have been a corridor crew. Yeah. Um, and they did one where they, I think it was a deep fake or maybe they just did the CG, but they like fixed it for at least Leia, I think it was. And man, it was so much better. It was amazing. Well, if, if it was done like, more recently, but that was that wasn't deep fake technology though. That was before. Yeah, no, I know, no. Deep fake I know but I was used. I don't know if it was uh, before deep fake. Uh, yes, it was before. Rogue One was before, it, as far as I know. 
uh, because it w- w- right when it started becoming popular, that's around when Luke, uh, the Luke incident happened with uh, Mandalorian, which is why they showed what they did, and then the deep technolo- technology was used afterwards the second time Luke came. Uh, because they had oh, re yeah. they had re edited it, somebody re edited it. I don't know if it was the same crew that you're talking about, Tomas. But the yeah, person who re edited it was actually hired on the next time they had him mm-hmm. from Mandalorian. Maybe they should be. so. Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm just saying though that uh, there's at least ways to. Yeah. I know there are ways even to correct old films though. They could correct that if they oh, want yeah. to with cg they they take they they could go back and fix it will they i don't know it does cost money yeah, it's not yeah cheap. i don't uh, yeah, it's I not like disney doesn't it. have the money it already cost a yeah, fortune to do it in the first place yeah and it looks yeah. but anyways it just looks so uncanny um and i haven't watched it again in a while yeah, um yeah. i did watch it a lot when it around when it came out and i watched it maybe a year or two ago but that always pulls me out both the times, both Leia and uh, Tarkin. I mean, Leia is a cameo at best, but Tarkin has a whole scene. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. But anyways, I get that. um, so, so he's going to be back? I hope not. Uh, <laughs> I know. So just make after, a new character. Come on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, after us talking about it for a little bit, uh, what do you guys, are you guys more or less excited? Do you I mean, I'm still want to go way. check it out? There's about I'm... five billion shows apparently that everybody wants to look at now, so it's hard to find time for a yeah, specific I'm show. Yeah, I'm more excited now that we've talked about it. I was just I was gonna watch it before, but now I'm a little bit more interested because you guys have sold me a little bit more on Rogue One itself. However, I gotta finish Cobra Kai before I start I, a new dude, show. I, 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 I started that. that. <laughs> I started Cobra Kai. I got like halfway through the first season. And I actually got bored of it. I was like, I'm done with this. I can't what? do this. I got, I got so sick. Do you sick like the Karate of, Kid movie? Yeah, I loved the Karate oh. Kid, but I got so sick of uh, what's his name, the the badass uh, Johnny. Yeah, I got so tired of him, man. Like, I liked some of the stuff that he did, but then I there was just other the stuff. Episode. There was just other stuff that he did that was just like so infuriating. I couldn't keep watching it. I was like, I'm, I can't. Keep... But I see that another season's out, and I keep getting tempted to go back to it. So maybe I will. Oh, you haven't even watched know. the current season? Oh, okay. I thought no, you were talking I'm... about watching the current season. No, I'm halfway through like the very first season. Uh, very first season? I thought uh, you didn't finish the first season. No, I got like halfway through. You guys were trying to sell me season. on it. What oh. happened? I've seen I, them all. I'm. I hit a rut one. with it. I had a rut with it. I'm on the I just current one as well. Yeah. I had a rut with it. I just stopped liking uh, the blonde dude. Yeah, Johnny. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, Johnny. Johnny. I mean, I I will. I told. I, I hate to move on to that now, but I do totally <laughs> agree that it is. They do kind of do that with the show, but it's it's done that way on purpose because it's oh, really a soap opera. No, I'm sure it is. It's just I got yeah. to a point where I just got a little frustrated with it, and I haven't gone back to it because, like you said, there's 20 million other shows to watch. Like, yeah, there's a ton so. of stuff to watch right now. Yeah, yeah. I, I just started love... the first episode of that one when I was. The... I, I enjoyed it. That was fine. Uh, the, I love the, the, the perspective of that. You know, Ralph Macchio, the Karate Kid, wasn't 100 yeah. percent right. Like, it, was, it wasn't just black and white. The whole situation. Yeah. No, I liked that kind of stuff. I I liked all that kind of stuff about it. It was you just didn't like was, his choices he was making. In the- yeah, just and not even all of them. Some of them I really liked, but there were some choices that he was making that I was just like, man, it, it's like just I don't know. I guess I want people to grow up faster than they want to grow up, and I'm he, just like, well, man, come yeah. on. You probably won't make it through because he does that no. almost every season. Yeah, every season it, it's like he learns a lesson throughout the season. Oh, yeah, and, something. and then the and next then season it's like he's he's starting square one on a different. Yeah, lesson. huge setback again. Yeah, it's yeah. like, okay. but I I'm and still it, enjoying it. Enough. I think it was the third season where uh, like he's like starting to make progress, and you could tell it was too early for him to make too much progress, so he does like a 180. At some point, yeah, for like, no like, oh, well, it's gonna happen. We're on episode three, so he's gonna, <laughs> he needs more time to learn his lesson. Yeah, <laughs> he's gonna have a huge setback. 
So we'll see know. though. Season five, I, I think enjoy, this is supposed to be it. I feel like, oh my god, I hope so. But uh, it's kind <laughs> of, I enjoy it. It's just, it's it's junk food for me. It's just, yeah, like, it is. It's nothing. It's and nothing too serious. It's so definitely. Like, oh. Like I, I still enjoy it too, but it's it's run its course, right? Like this is yeah. about as much as I can take. Season we're five. We're getting to the point where they're just kind of milking it now. We kind of yeah. Like, All well, right, when are we resolving this? And I didn't realize there's so many characters from the old movies that they just keep bringing back. I only yeah. ever watched Karate Kid one and two, so all this stuff is like, who and a what? Who's but they're this there, person? right? They could do yeah. all the flashbacks. Which is yeah, kind of convenient. I, know, I was like, I didn't. I never real like. I watched Karate Kid one. I remember the whole crane thing or whatever. And yeah. And I think I yeah, saw the second on. one. Uh, yep. That was it. I didn't realize there was like a whole <laughs> bunch of movies. I remember at some point I used to think Surf Ninjas was connected to that, but it's not. <laughs> yeah, Did I you, remember feeling the same. You think way. that Beverly Hill Ninjas was connected to it? No, that's totally. Uh, the whole Colgan uh, was tied in with it's it. Actually, somehow. better. Beverly Hills Ninjas is a better series with one movie. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say series. I wish. With one movie. Uh, I love that movie. That movie's hilarious. It's but anyways, good. yeah, it's better than all those. Uh, <laughs> best white Well, did you uh, see the new Karate? <laughs> did you see the new Karate Kid? At least with the one with Will the one Smith's Will Smith's kid. kid? Oh. Yeah. Atrocious. Yeah, that was. Yeah, it was, it was I wish they again. would have never I wish made you could it. Bring that up. It was. It was basically the same movie again, right? Was I the yeah, only one that felt that I, way? It was. Like, yeah, I was, it was like, this is the exact same felt, thing. Feel unnecessary. Yeah, but it didn't yeah. feel like a new movie or even a good retelling. It just it, felt like yeah. I was watching the same thing with different the, actors. I didn't care about anybody, <laughs> and Jackie Chan was in it. I was like, I know. Mess up a Jackie I Chan know. movie. I know. All right. All righty. Uh, all right, Throw so we're gonna, we're all, we're all gonna <laughs> check out uh, Andor, and we'll have to uh, watch more Cobra Kai. Uh, now, uh, we'll move on to some a bunch of Nintendo stuff. Uh, I would just talk about the Nintendo Direct uh, entirely, but I feel like we're gonna start with something we I talked earlier, which was uh, well, Splatoon three. It came out, I think, a week and a half to two weeks ago at this point. Um, I didn't buy it at launch. Uh, I didn't buy it until my son and wife got stuck down the hill because of uh, of weather. There was a huge mudslide near us. And so they got stuck on the hill for the day. So I told her, because my son had just asked for Splatoon 3 like the night before. He, was, he didn't realize it came out, so he was asking for it. So I told uh, my wife, I was like, well, you guys are down there, so... Since you're stuck, why don't you guys go get Splatoon 3 and then you can play it at uh, my brother-in-law's house, uh, you know, to distract yourselves. So they did, and then they brought it home, and then we've been playing it ever since. Uh, did you get it at launch, Kyle? I don't know if you were watching it or not. I, I did. Um, I knew it was coming out, so I pre-ordered it, but I didn't get my pre-order bonus. So I pre-ordered it too late, I guess? I don't know. But yeah, I got it the day of that Friday it came out. And Which pre-order bonus were you aiming That's for? Kind That's kind of annoying. Uh, Best Buys. They had a keychain. I wanted the keychain. Oh, didn't they have? I thought they had uh, stuffed animals. When I did it, it said keychain. But I didn't I get swear anything. They so. were going to be like, yeah, I swear they were going to be like um, stuffed animals. Like there was a couple stuffed animals. That's what I thought I remember seeing. For Best Buy? There was four different colors. Yeah, four different colors of squids or something but i guess maybe i was mistaken i don't know um, i don't know maybe that was target i'm not sure i don't I know it's always do, a convoluted uh, mess so I it is know. i used to go and um like buy multiple ones from different places and like return a couple at the other I place it's like a, I mean i guess if it's like a really good pre-order bonus but it just seemed like a stretch for depending i mean you do yeah. have that shopping center with walmart uh, Best Buy and GameStop like all next to each other. So. Yeah, and Target. Wrong, wrong direction. No, no, yeah. you're, you're two. You're two as well. There's a lot yep. of stores everywhere. Uh, but yes, uh, so it's not that difficult of a juggle uh, no. to do. So not at all. But yeah, I I don't do it anymore. None none of it's worth it anymore for me. I just wanted yeah. the one, and I didn't even get that. So I was like, yeah, all right. Uh, so how much have you played of Splatoon Three now that's out? So you and I played. 
the other night because I forgot yeah, they have the. Um, run, yeah. yeah, I forgot about the salmon runs. Those are really fun. Those are good co-op. They really are. Uh, yeah. Dynamics and um and then the that first weekend we played, you know, we played Friday, I think Saturday and some on Sunday, and other than that, I just I haven't played much of any of it. I'm only, I think I'm level five or six basically that weekend. Uh, I I'll be honest. At first glance, I was a little disappointed because it just felt like a big expansion pack, um, but a full price game. Uh-huh. So just not a lot of change. Yeah. Like I was I was expecting it to be a lot different. So there's some visual updates. Um, they definitely changed the hub area. Yeah, um, that's better. That's way better. But for the most part, yeah, I would agree with you. It does feel. Um, at least mechanically the same game, which is not necessarily a bad thing for the simple fact yeah. that the mechanics are good. So it makes sense that they would, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah. But we did talk a little bit about, I think it was, I think it was either you or it was my brother-in-law that we talked a bit about uh, how it would, and this is a, this is a very specific case where it starts to make more sense if they were doing like a uh, a a paid sub- like a subscription or a a That's live right. service, um, like this should be more in the kin of like Fortnite or something at this point where we have more season passes instead of purchasing a new game every so often. I mean, we're at seven years since Platoon One came out, I think, is what I was hearing, um, which means three games in seven years. Uh, I get the yeah, jump to two bad. because of the Wii U to Switch, but uh, but even that then, was actually a surprise because yeah. they didn't they didn't just port it over. They gave yeah, it a they whole made a second one. Yeah, yeah, they made a second one, which was actually pretty nice. Which is a good yeah, which is good, and and the second one I think did add quite a bit of different things. Like they added a uh, salmon run. I don't think that was in the original game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a whole new feature. Um, and then I then the the campaign uh, was in the first one, and then they add had to add, if I remember correctly, add the campaign in the second one because it didn't come with one, and people were kind of upset about that. If I oh. remember correctly, I could be mistaken. But and so this one we do get the complete package again, um, uh, but it is still like you said, more of the same. Uh, but it is fun. I'm I, I've been playing yeah. a lot. I've actually sitting around level twelve myself. Um, they have like a season pass type thing, and the uh, 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 there's if you go on the app. So if you have the app, this the Nintendo app, they have the whole uh, like a season pass thing where it goes to, like level a hundred, and for every level you get a new reward. Um, which I don't think you need the app for that. You're probably just getting them and not realizing it, uh, or not even yeah, thinking about probably. it. The catalog. Um, so that seems to be kind of like a season pass. I'm curious if that's going to extend beyond that hundred levels, um, but yeah. Oh, are you close? No, 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 no. I am. I think I'm currently currently level sixteen on that. Um, so oh. I've, I've I have been getting the points, but I'm not like going crazy with it right now. Okay. I, was, I thought maybe you're like, <laughs> I'm almost there. We're gonna find out. No, it's pretty slow. It is a pretty slow burn, but it, I mean. Still, I'm 16. The game's only been out this long. I mean, if I I am not a heavy grinder, but there are people who are, and there are people that yeah. eat this alive so uh, fast. Yeah. Um, I've seen people who are way higher level than me on the game already without any without any issue. So yeah, our friends. Gone. So we have uh, some other friends that love it, and that's a big part of why my wife and I play it. And. Um, when that weekend we got it, we went over to their place, and they were, they were already well above ten that first weekend. They were above yeah. level ten. So yeah, the the those those people are out there, and they're they're grinding it for sure. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, so my biggest issue, and I think we we're gonna have one a little bit, is finding people to play. It is the only, and I was talking about this is the only uh, PvP game like. I really enjoy. Uh, yeah. So I, so I'm just, I just really want to uh, get more people to play it. But you know, it's hard to convince people to play this platoon uh, game because I think a lot of people think it looks too kiddy or something. I don't know. It, yeah, um, it does have that. I think it's a nice 
like entry level, you know, like PvP shooter, you know, or I don't even know if you can call it arena, <clears throat> but like a shooter yeah. game, you know, for kids that aren't quite old enough to maybe play the more serious, like realistic looking ones, the Call of Duties. So but I kind of like that though. I'm, I'm tired. Ty- yeah. I, I don't know. I've never been like a huge Call of Duty fan. I mean, I liked Halo at one point, but even Halo wasn't even that. Well, and it's very unique, right? Like the ammo system is very yeah. unique, where you're using ink and you can, and but you can also move within the ink, and you have to use the ink to move around because it's much faster than running. And so, oh, it is, yeah, it's, yeah, of it's very unique, and it's it's it is like you said, it's really fun. Once you play it, you kind of go, oh, okay, it isn't, you know, what I thought it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have you ever? I know. I think when Splatoon Two came out, I tried to get uh, Tomas interested in it uh, and his fiance at the time, and I was unsuccessful. Have you looked into yeah. Splatoon at all anymore? I haven't looked into it. I don't know if Imogen has. She Imogen was the one that started playing it. Really, I watched her play, and that was enough for me. I don't know. I've never been a huge player versus player type of person unless it's Elden Ring then I'll PvP all the time. But Yeah, but there's you ain't using that's not <laughs> a shooter either though. Yeah, I know. So it's just Yeah, no, I I enjoy shooters so much as when I play them, but I usually don't enjoy playing them with other people unless it's friends and stuff because I don't have quite the uh, hand-eye coordination that other people do and i get yeah. like, getting frustrated that's, but that's kind of what the good thing about it is is because uh you don't have to be like a super great uh combat player when you're doing like the turf war and stuff because you really just it's about painting your the arena so you just want to have yeah. your team is painting you know they want to have more of the arena painted at the end of it it's actually yeah. pretty it, it's a very interesting uh you know, game mechanic that i think is quite fun they actually do have the anarchy mode now that is 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 a uh a combat oriented oh really uh fighter okay. yeah it was introduced in splatoon 2 i didn't play it much um but when i was playing my brother-in-law he said towards the end of splatoon 2 that's primarily what he played was the, yeah uh, the that's a different mode. dynamic because yes. i use i like yeah. using the roller which is a terrible <laughs> combat weapon I'm an arrow spray, and there was a new one I've been using. That's kind of like, kind of like the arrow spray, but it's a little different. Uh, it's got the plunger, nice. like a plunger end. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> but those are both are just like they're more for painting the arena. They're not really great. The second one I'm using now, which I can't remember the name of it, but it's a little better for 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 fighting. And the roller can be good for fighting too, uh, if you know what you're doing. But yeah, it can be. It can but be, there's it has yeah, no range. Close, though. Yeah, no, yeah. So anyone with any range it will own you, you know, unless you're trying to paint the arena, in which case yeah. you just run away and go paint, which is mm. what I do. So, yeah, well, it, <clears throat> there's quite well, a bit to do in that game. It, yeah, if you're playing it, uh, paint your base. Uh, it's just a little heads <laughs> up. Just paint your base. A lot of people yep, seem to ignore do. painting their base, <laughs> and it's. It's frustrating when you get to the end and you realize there's like three spots on your base that were never touched by your own people. Yeah, and so like it's so like, oh, much. okay, cool. Yeah, um, and then they, you guys you, are trying. You, you, the other team can't get to that spot either. There's like spots yeah. that they can't physically get to. So. so it's like, do it. Yeah, do it. You need those points, man. At the end, man, <laughs> I've, I've won and lost so many times by 0.1%. That's so what really, times. really, yeah, that would be frustrating. Yes. It is, yeah. it is, it is, it's, it's frustrating and it's also relieving at the same time sometimes because I, I, like I said, I won or lost by a point one percent. It's yeah. happened either nice. way, and it's just like, oh man, um, but yeah, it's a blast though. So I'm hoping more people play. I really oh, wish yeah. they had we need more the of a squad. free-to-play version. Yes, we need a squad. Join the Discord if you play if you play Platoon and you wanna you wanna have some, you know. Maybe above average players. I don't. I don't really know how good I am. My son says I'm good, but I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but that was uh, also on the direct. Um, there's a whole list of games that are on this Nintendo Direct that came out on September 13th. It was right after we recorded last episode, like two or three days after we recorded last episode. Yeah. Um, so we haven't talked about it much, but 
big news for us Fire Emblem fans. A new Fire Emblem game's coming out. Fire Emblem Engage. Yay. So I was super excited. It looks incredible. It is leaving the school dynamic, which I loved Fire Emblem in Three Houses, but I was not a huge fan of the school dynamic. It worked for the story, but I just wasn't, it just wasn't, re- it did kind of feel a little too Harry Potter ish for my Pottery ish. <laughs> I never liking. got, I, I didn't play much Three Houses, just didn't have the time, um, but. I only finished it once. I wasn't like as hardcore as some people. I didn't go through all three different stories, but my buddy's kids who like are in middle school ate it up. So that probably was right up their alley. Yeah. Yeah. So this is this is the new one, and I'm curious to see what they're gonna do with all the uh, relationship mechanics and everything else. But what I, do you think I, of the I artwork? Think looks, I think the artwork looks it's, looks amazing. It's I've a been, it's a dramatic yeah. change. Yes, for, for Fire Emblem. Um, you know. they kind of stepped more towards this in the uh, in the new um, the yeah, Dynasty the, Warriors the... one. Uh huh. Um, you definitely can tell with the Fire Emblem Three Houses that it was the first time they were doing that art style, so you could definitely see yeah. the growing pains, and they're also getting used to the new hardware. So yeah, like I said, you yeah. definitely could see the growing pains, but it still looked good. They did a good job with it. Um. This is just definitely looks like a step up. Uh, yeah, it does. It looks style. good for a Switch game. Oh yeah, it looks fantastic. That's the thing, man. Like Nintendo, they're like you know, their first party stuff is 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 so good. So you know it's possible, but it's tough to get the third parties to live up to it. Yeah, because mm-hmm. you got you have to be able to utilize the hardware that's available. Um, we also had some. Huge Zelda news. Why don't you why don't you take this one, Kyle? You're the big Well huge is is a, a big deal. Interesting word uh when it comes to Zelda because they did almost the bare minimum for of a trailer and <laughs> I, I still can't wait for this game to come out. You know, like that and they knew that, right? Like they didn't have to do much. They just had to announce it. Was which is pretty much what they did with the new, yeah. basically it's more sequel. Of like the official announcement, right? Because we yes. don't have a title. There's a title. There's a, a an actual trailer with some gameplay, um, called the Tears of the Kingdom. Um, some people are joking saying it's Tears of the Kingdom, but that sounds awful. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a sequel to Breath of the Wild. It's coming out next year. A little overdue. Five years. In the making, or oh, six years actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, so a bit much, but yeah. But yeah, like I said, all they had to do, they didn't even need to give me a trailer. If they just gave me a date, I would have been just as excited. I'm going to play it. I'm going to play the heck out of it. <laughs> and uh, it looks like a direct sequel. Looks like you're kind of either following up or a prequel, maybe. But it's tied into Breath of the Wild somehow. So, but yeah, and you're falling. That's it. You're, you're falling. He jumps, Link's jumps, yeah. So yeah, it it's exciting. Yeah, it definitely gave me um some uh, Skyward Sword vibes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah. That he's riding that little. It looks like a glider, like a big glider. I guess yeah. at the end of the trailer, I we'll get more beat, as we get closer. Yeah, I never beat the Breath of the Wild, but uh, this one looks interesting. I'll, I'll definitely have was, to give it a shot. There was no flying, other than the glider that you had. So yeah. This, so there, yeah, there's uh, there's clearly like s- platforms in the sky in this one, so you so, will be flying for sure. All right, Kyle, I have a question for you though. You're the Breath of the Wild fan here. Yes. Um, what on a scale of one to ten, what do you th- do you think they're gonna keep the weapon degrade system? Oh yeah, absolutely. Damn it. Okay. All right. Well, I guess. Uh, how, well, ten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that actually. That kind of sucks because it, that was one of the. I watched Imogen play Breath of the Wild and I debated playing it, but man, that weapon degradation really was like, mm, I don't like that idea. Uh, I, I mean, don't know. What are you talking I don't about? It's mind, in all the Souls games. Yeah, I don't mind it in the Souls games though because I don't know. Maybe it's just the way I, that it, she. It was maybe a, it's just it the way that a, she plays, but it it felt like she was breaking weapons left and right. Ring? 
Uh, right? Yes. But you, it, you it, just fixed your it's gear, so though. That slow. was the difference. It's, it's like, so slow. It's, it, it's fine, because I didn't mind an Elden Ring, and the reason is is because it was like it was slow. It was a, it was a gradual, and also yeah. when it did break or when it was low, you could just fix it. So here's they. that's the hope, though, that they uh, update it and make it closer to that. Okay, it's so still going to be there. I can almost guarantee it's going to be in there, but it will it's gonna hopefully, be modified? yeah. Okay. Be, like they hopefully will take a lesson from what you were just saying from Elden Ring. I hope so. And be, and just be like, hey, let's keep the weapons. Let's just All make right. them. You got to go get it repaired or whatever. And yeah. Because, because I did like say, throwing it though. No. I will admit, I did like when my. You could tell oh, when it was about to break, <laughs> and I would all just like, you know, a big old two handed, hi yeah, you know, I always <laughs> love doing that. So <laughs> I got to admit, I liked it. I got used to it, and I ended up enjoying it. My son it has beaten kept it, it fresh. countless times. So I, 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 there's, there's definitely an audience. You're not alone. I liked uh, having the master sword, and I, I worked really hard to get it. And then when I got it, I was like, you know what? I like these other ones better because you have to get new ones. Because I'll, I, I'll tell I got, you this. In Dark Souls three, I kept the same weapon almost from the get go, and I just yeah. get stuck with it. And and that's how I it's... play like all games. <laughs> yeah, and, and I like I like being forced to do it to change it up. I liked it. Don't force me to do stuff in my games. I don't want. I don't want to. Uh, I actually worked hard to get the Master Swords mainly because I heard it didn't break. And so I was like, uh-huh. right, you want to get the Master Sword. So it I does it. Finally beat this game. But it while it doesn't break. Or <laughs> I mean, quote, it does, though, it doesn't does it? It goes, break. it takes a little nap. Gonna, yeah, okay. It has to take a nap. And that fresh, <laughs> that, that right there, I was like, I'm done. I'm not going to play then. I, if you're going to just get the, give this to me and then make me not be able to use it. Yeah. I was I, that so was frustrating. frustrated. I was frustrated with that too. I was like, finally, just, you know, let me just, you know, like you said, like there's a couple of things. I just need to go finish this. So I understand that overall. I liked it, but yeah. So, well, well, hopefully I hope this game, this game is great and I hope people love it and maybe it'll bring me back and I hope it does uh, because I love Zelda yeah. and I miss, I, I was really, I was really bummed when I couldn't get into Breath of the Wild. And it just made me feel like a, it was like a YOLO thing. Or not a YOLO, it's a FOMO, FOMO thing. Oh, uh, really? I was like missing out because everybody uh-huh. else was loving it. And I was like sitting here like, I don't like the Zelda game. I like every Zelda game, but I don't like this Zelda game. <laughs> yeah, this is, is something weird wrong with me. me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is really weird. Uh, so I'm really hoping that they do something. And if they, that right there, that alone, I think, fixed it. It's just, just give me a deg. Uh, an option. Well, I don't never understood when they just didn't give an option. To either turn it off or make it less impactful. I think. Well, I mean, nice. but Nintendo doesn't. Really I guess you options, never made so. it to, you know, what is it, master mode? Master. You beat the. It's basically hard mode after you beat it. Yeah, where yeah, like, it, it gets yeah. even more brutal. Well, was it the, the difficulty wasn't bothering me? It was just that I I couldn't I I hated I hate constantly changing my weapon. Well, I know. I'm, I'm just I'm saying. Imagine that like, with a harder difficulty too. Yeah, where your oh, weapons yeah, no, just break in and. <laughs> I wasn't gonna do that. I, I I've done other master modes in other Zelda games, but I wasn't gonna do that. That was sounding like just pain. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I, I, we all know I don't like pain. That's why I, I don't play out in Dark Souls games. Uh, but it was a little painful, uh, watching <laughs> all these harvest. In games, these farm simulator games. How do you guys feel about the farm simulator games? Is there enough yeah. of them, or do you need more? I don't about... even care. I never played one in my life. I feel like there was at least six, but that's like Gosh. including that's including some remakes, though. They need one more, and then you can have you can play one each is... day of the week. <laughs> it is surprising that, and, and not in a bad way, just how many. People play those games because obviously there's a market yeah. for it, right? Oh, there where, yeah. totally is. There were six plays, of them are uh, coming out. Heart, the Stardew Valley. I know she kept talking to me about it last time I was with her. She's she's only in first or second grade, but she loves Stardew Valley. I so, think we've hmm. mentioned this before, but you know, we talked about the farm simulator games that people mm-hmm. 
uh, who live in the city are finding it comforting. Like, that's their escape. Yeah. Like, we've gone and so also, far to other way where it's like, let's escape back to old time <laughs> living where you're just yeah. farming. And the relationship and, thing is a big part. And of also, you don't have to deal with the, you know, sun and sweat and the actual, like, hardships. Of Smell. That stuff. And and sure. Just yeah. do the, the pleasant parts, which so, is just I mean, the planting parts. and growing thing. The sim <laughs> games nice. have always been there then. It's yeah. just, it's the, the farming that is the big one right now. Yeah, and I, really the, there, yeah. they're not updating Animal Crossing anymore, as far as I understand, which I isn't, think, yeah, I think they were done that not exactly, a, yeah, and it's not exactly a farming simulator, no, but really. I feel like it's in, it's adjacent to that category. It's definitely. It's a, I think it's considered a vacation simulator or something like that. <laughs> oh my, <laughs> paying off a mortgage yeah, is vacation. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just spouting out stuff. I just um, I I don't get those games. It's fine yeah, if you do. I I don't get them either. I can't do it. I mean, if you like them, more power to you. But yeah, I I can't do them. I've tried to get into them because of the the simple the simple thing with passive uh, gameplay. Um, I like stuff like that uh, sometimes, but yeah, even then, I I can only last so long. Well, though. I got a whole package deal i got four different games for sale right now switch games that are farming simulators it's a four for one it has okay so okay i side note here i sell on mercari which is just a different kind of ebay i like it better than ebay and you base it's almost like a um, social media platform so you can like different items that people are selling you get likes. You don't get like people watching it. And this one has like the most likes I've ever had on an item. And I'm almost I'm kind of mad because it's like, well, who's going to buy it? Because I've never had that many likes mm-hmm. and no one buy it. But there's mm-hmm. 32 likes, which the most I get is like 10, 12. 32 on the four game farming simulator. So it's just it's popular right now. That's yeah what people want. For sure. Um, and we do like Mario Kart here. So, what about you? You were excited for more tracks uh, for Mario Kart. Did you try the the last update on tracks, Kyle? Uh, I don't know. What wave is this? I didn't. You know I didn't try about? the last ones. I missed the last ones. I have them. I just haven't gone to Mario so, to play them. But, but yeah. now we have a third wave of coming out. Uh, okay. Towards the end of this year. So then, I did play. I, I think I played the second wave. I played and it's the first great. wave, but I never played the second one. And it's great. The third one, though, has a Christmas course, which I enjoyed seeing. That looks fun. Yeah. It's still a little slow for my taste. The the way they're releasing them, I don't understand why it's so slow. Yeah, but I don't like it either. I agree. I, I think you like you probably agree. They're they're milking it until oh, yeah. Yeah. they can maybe make they a new the one. Hype. Yeah, I get it, but I don't like it. So yeah, um, it's great. It's sure. great to have new courses. That game is great. Um, Tomas, would, do you play Mario Kart? Would you play uh, Mario Kart? I, I don't think I played it on the Switch, though. I oh, think the so last time played I played it... Yeah, I think the last time I played it was on the Wii when Alan had the little uh, steering wheels. Oh, man. It's been a hot minute then. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. Fair enough. It, um, that one, to me, I find like that one's a little bit easier to play multiplayer that mm-hmm. was a really good pick up and go so it's not as yeah it's not as brutal as like smash brothers for like yeah getting your butt handed to you sometimes <laughs> true so. so yeah i'm excited for those we we pick that game up every once in a while um i mean we there's a couple other games on here i mean i know mario plus rabbits you just said you yep. beat the uh the sparks of hope you just beat the first one i'm excited for that one i haven't beaten it yet i did really enjoy it though i just need to get they're gonna to it. same thing though like we said with splatoon 3 they're gonna have to mix it up a little bit because it mm-hmm. i don't want it to be just a big that's a single player game too DLC. it looks like they are adding a bit of extra stuff there, like there is co-op stuff. in it there's co-op modes you can do. Which is there? Is I didn't fun. know there was mm-hmm. actually co-op. I was playing it by myself for a while, but I didn't know there was co-op. You had to play for a while on your own. But, oh, before um, it pops up. <laughs> yeah. I I just, you know, it's a good game. I don't know if I want more of the same, though. 
I th- yeah. they're putting I hear they're putting Raymond in it, which is like Yeah, there was a there was like a little banner that came up. He's not in the trailers that I've seen, but there is a banner that came up where it showed Raymond. I mean so like why not why not go full blown Smash Bros and start getting Snake in there <laughs> working well, with Raymond, Mario? Because it, it's made by Ubisoft. So. I know. Yeah, I know. So I specifically still... going for the Ubisoft. Just sure. let me well, who else they like got? Assassin's dream. Creed. <laughs> Let's get Assassin's Creed up in there. I know. Like, yeah. Let's get all those time guys. Ago, I had an idea that I really wanted them to do when they were coming out with Amiibos, that they should have made a dungeon crawler game, kind of like Skylanders for the Amiibos, um, but Nintendo making it. Um, but that obviously never happened. But I thought Ooh. that would have been really fun if they did that with all the Amiibos. And since they, when they had the rights, they should have tagged that on. They should they have. just started using the Amiibos, kind of like those Toys to Life games. Um, yeah, that era is that kind of cut, died out. It's dead. But, um, but Amiibos still going, yeah. though. I mean, I still Surprisingly, I wouldn't mind uh, a, um, oh, I just totally blanked. The Rabbids. A Rabbid Amiibo. Oh, yeah, Rabbids, I feel like yeah. I feel like they owe them one. They should. I don't know why they haven't gotten one. To be honest, yeah, it doesn't really make any sense. They could make like a like a triple one. Yeah, with, like a combo. With, yeah, and then charge absurd amounts of money for. Of course, they they the are plastic. already too expensive. Um, I can't think of any other games besides like Bayonetta three, but I've actually never really gotten to that yeah. series. I really want to get in that series. It's one of those series that I've seen, and I'm like, I really Imogen, would like to be a part of this. Imogen really, really likes it. Imogen really likes it. I don't know if she knows that there's another one coming out. Yeah, show three's her. coming out, yeah. But I think, yeah. It, is it ex- exclusive or timed exclusive? It's exclusive. This is going to be exclusive to Switch, yeah. At sure. least timed, right? Or is it going to be only uh, two Switch? Two and three have been exclusive to Switch. The only one that was on multi-console was the That's first cool. one, and that was because uh, I think Platinum Games either published it oh. them, I think they published it themselves and then they uh, got bought and then they didn't have the money to publish the rest of them so that's when Nintendo stepped in for Bayonetta 2 uh, mm-hmm. and now they're publishing Bayonetta 3 so okay it is I yeah. I tried it I tried the first one way back and I don't know yeah. there's something about it that yeah I did, I it's Devil May Cry ish you know it's mm-hmm. done really well but I I can never get into those games yeah. something about it just I, w- I would love to get into it just because it feels like a game that it would be fun to be in part of, but I just never did. Um, How about this? Import- oh, What's go that? ahead. I was going to say Final Fantasy Seven oh. Reunion. Oh, I just, uh, out of nowhere. Yeah, the Crisis Core. Uh, yeah. Which I think it's going to be on everything, not on it Switch. It is. It's not but exclusive. but Switch will be nice because it is portable, and it was originally a portable game, so it makes sense. Yeah, but this looks like uh, a full blown remake. Oh, it's a it's a again. remake. Yeah, it's a full blown remake. Yeah. Well, the fact that but it's a pretty big deal. Like I was just complaining that third parties can't get their their Switch shit together. Sorry, I mean <laughs> their Switch stuff together. Very passionate. Yes. Yeah. But here we go. Here it is, and I love Crisis yeah. Core. I have never played Crisis Crisis Core, but it's been one of those ones that I've wanted to play. But I've always felt that I needed to beat seven first even though it's technically a prequel so you don't really need to but still yeah i mean it's it's definitely a milking of the series and oh, it's yeah, uh because it, it was like a mention in seven and they're like let's make a whole i guess it's not a remake it's an hd remaster so it is a remaster huh okay then interesting because it was a psp one yeah so the controls it, they're gonna have to update those controls because those are those are bad. I'm sure they'll get it to where they does dual sticks now, at least. So that way it, you have more control of the camera or something. It was I'm sure, that is the hardest thing about the PSP sometimes is the camera yeah. control. They yeah. Pretty rough. True. Uh, I'm excited for that one. I am too. I need to finish the normal seven again. I need to go go back and do the seven because they have the new one coming out, the second one. The normal seven coming out. Or the uh no, not the, not the original. The, or the, the remake, one. integrate. The remake, the remake, not integrate. The, <laughs> the original remake. And then Kingdom uh, Hearts 2.8, <laughs> which is a real thing. I can't wait till Kingdom Hearts 4, but that's a different, that's a different thing. That that was not announced. Uh, that one's not a, even even flirted with. Oh, I, I was gonna move on yeah, to this, was. but how do you guys? What? 
It, it was Kingdom Hearts with the feet thing. Remember they they talked no, about no anyway. for Switch though. Sorry, oh oh oh. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, uh, I just I just thought about this. How how do you guys feel about the Resident Evil games? I know you guys aren't huge Resident Evil fans, but this is kind of more uh, of the cloud based games on the Switch. Uh, more games that you have to play that aren't really good. They don't they're not made for the Switch, but you can play them through the cloud. Uh, I love the Resident Evil you games. Don't even care. I love. I have all. I, I have really own really all care. the main series games. Sorry. I was just and more talking about the cloud service, more cloud. Yeah. Games. Like, how do you feel about them in general? Are they? I, from what I've heard, it's not great. Yeah. So but... I haven't even tried it, and from everyone I've heard that's tried it, it sucks. Yeah. Um, and Play I don't baseball. know. I don't know, if, but I don't know if they've tried it with the new. You know, they have that new model that has the Ethernet port. It has the Ethernet cable, that's correct, yeah. So that might be a difference. That might be a game changer. Um, because that's still new, right? And it's still hard to get a hold of. So I don't think... Because yep. I'm talking about like my, my own brother who said... He, he was, he's like, oh, I sold all my, I sold my PlayStation stuff because they put Kingdom Hearts on Switch. What I didn't know was that it was cloud-based. Cloud-based, yeah. And it yeah. sucks. And I was like, oh, yeah. He's like, and I already bought it, so... I was like, yeah, they do have a new one coming out. You really like, got to well, research that sometimes, yeah. Like, yeah, they got them. And this, the thing is, is those games could play on Switch. So that's that's on them. That's just them being, I don't know, lazy and not wanting to port it. Yeah. Because at least I could I could understand three. But, like, the rest of them could all play what, on what th- Why? What about three? Kingdom Hearts 3. I, oh, Kingdom least, Hearts. It was made... Yeah, Kingdom Hearts three. I can understand that they're like, oh well, it's just too hard. Yeah, and we couldn't like bring it down enough. Yeah, all right, fine. But two and one. Are you telling yeah, me that P- those can't go? He has two games. Like that's yeah. you have a problem. PS2, yeah, the, you can do that. You can totally do that. I thought you were uh, talking about anyway. Resident Evil, and I was like, no, no, all no, the no. Resident Evils. What do you? Yeah, uh, which what's the same story, right? Most of those are PS one games. So... Yeah, but they, these are the remakes, though. Like those, the the all those Kingdom Hearts games oh, are I see. remasters. Right, yeah, they're not remakes. That's right. I didn't watch any of that part of it. So, but yeah, because they even have uh like seven and eight coming out. Yeah, yeah seven for and it. Eight. So, uh, or uh, Village. I, I love the sixty four. So I'm always gonna, we got a huge chunk of games announced for the sixty four. Um, I'm just gonna fly through them real quick. Pilot Wing sixty four, Mario Party one, two, and three. Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2, 1080 Snowboarding, Excitebet 64, and the biggest one to be announced is uh-huh. 007 GoldenEye is going to be believe. heading to the N64 uh, Switch. I and don't. A funny fact about the GoldenEye one, uh, last I heard, and it's probably not, I don't know if it's still the same way, but last I heard, the Xbox version did not have online play. But the Switch one does, because the Xbox is also getting a 007 GoldenEye re- oh. master, I think. If it's you be a yeah mastered version, I, I heard if you have the um, the rare replay, you're gonna get GoldenEye. Oh, you're just gonna get of, it? That's cool. I, okay. I could be. Don't quote me. I'll have to look okay. it up. But yeah, that would but, be cool. yeah. But they are getting which a remastered the, which, version, so this is gonna be all polished, like the Perfect Dark one, probably, which is very good as well. Which I have on my six, my Xbox 360, which is really good. Um, so it's probably gonna be polished like that, but apparently it's not gonna have online play. It's just gonna be off, you know, couch play. Um, I don't. But the <clears throat> one will actually have online play. I'm curious to see how it's gonna work though. Yeah. Because uh... does that mean if me and you and Tomas and like uh, Skylar play? Are we seeing each other in the screens too? Because that seems like a lot of data. Going through, if I'm watching Tomas's screen while my screen is going at the same oh, time. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, because they're they're cross the because that how the 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 64 has worked so far is it just kind of emulates uh multiplayer, mm-hmm. but through online. And the way GoldenEye's multiplayer was was it was you know you had the individual the, screens, the split screens, yeah, yeah, the split screens. So 
am I going to be able to watch Kyle? Can I can I screen cheat uh, <laughs> over there and watch what he's doing? Yeah. Uh, I don't uh, know. But yeah, that's a good question. And it's going to be interesting. I'm definitely interested in playing it. I want to. I've actually I haven't actually played any 64 games online because I don't know anybody who has the service <laughs> right now. So. I, I, I have it and, uh, and I don't want to. Okay. I do. I don't, well, I, yeah, I got it because it was, it was like a cheaper to do that than to buy the the Mario Kart tracks. It was cheaper to upgrade. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. they split the difference, but uh, I'm just, I'm going to poo-poo on your excitement. I... I was not excited for any 64 games, and I can't believe how much oh. hype there is for GoldenEye. I was excited for Final mm. Rings, actually, when that popped up. I was like, what? And then I was excited That's, for Pokemon Stadium. Oh yeah, I, I, well, here's the thing. I just bought Excite Bike 64 like two years ago on my Wii U, and I played uh -huh. it, and I'm tired of it. And it's like, mm -hmm. it's fine. It's but This time, online multiplayer, though. <sighs> yeah. How, eh? It'll be a good... One nighter, I think of Goldeneye. It's you're not, you're not wrong. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah. So, I, I I want to though, like I see it, but I'm also like, ah, guys, we've been here. It's not going to be as good. We're gonna, we're all gonna be upset because it's not going to be great. So, I, It'll I'm be just gonna. Fine. Yeah, it's gonna just, be one night of fun. Your expectations, yeah. Don't, I'm don't trying. Go crazy with it. Yeah, I'm trying. Don't, don't yeah. get too excited, but I am excited for it because I'm a I'm an N64 person, so I really enjoy all this stuff coming out uh, for one of my favorite nostalgic albums. Uh, I can't wait to hear the the breathing every time you get hit. <laughs> and the <laughs> golden eye, just a big old gasp every time you get shot. <laughs> all right. Well, I think it's enough Nintendo talk for quite a while. I think Tomas is just done with it as it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just uh, like, I'm, I'm having so trouble staying awake. Right. Of uh, pasta face uh, <laughs> plumbers. Uh, no, I mean I'm like... excited. I mean, if I was if I was say anything like I I the Pokemon Stadium sounds fun. I'm kind of in the same boat with Kyle though, like. It's probably gonna be one night of Goldeneye, and then I'll be, I'll be, my my itch will be scratched. Do you have the service? So. The the no, I don't. Okay. So I mean, I might get it. I mean, Stadium, Pokemon Stadium. I always loved that. I so mean, maybe. if you if you're looking to play like Super Nintendo too, and and Nintendo games, like you could, you could play well, for long, for weeks. And oh yeah. yeah, and they threw Sega in there. It's it's definitely worth the cost. It's not terribly expensive. You can go, you can go um, crazy like me and get the uh, the N sixty four controller. Yeah, I have the other ones. I have the Super Nintendo and the NES ones. Yeah. Um, yeah, but you can get that awful sixty four one. That's the hardest one it's to get. Awful. So cool. And it feels it, great. I didn't say it looked bad. It's just awful to use. I can't use that thing. It's, it's almost yeah. Like... I never, I never understood the one joystick thing. Well, it well, was. Literally the, the time. first one with like a joystick. I know. Yeah. But it did yeah, have a D-pad. No. Yeah, that's why I never understood it. You got a D-pad. Why can't I use the D-pad? Oh, uh, just in the wrestling games. You had to use the D-pad. <laughs> it was terrible. Of course. All right. Well, we got our indie of the week. And you can go ahead and take this, uh, Kyle. Do you have your indie? Yeah. So we were talking beforehand that I didn't really play anything, but I forgot. As we were going through our outline, I was like, I did play an indie. And I could have swore you, one of you talked about this before. But when I threw it up I there, yeah, yeah, no one said it. anything. So um, I purchased this game on Switch, but it's also on Game Pass. And I am more lenient to play Game Pass or even PlayStation because of the achievements and trophies um, that Nintendo was severely mm. lacking. Uh, mm -hmm. Which is that's one thing they missed in the direct. They need achievements of some sort. They really need to get on that. But um, anyways, I played this game on Xbox, and it's. I mean, this is my, like, chill out game. We're talking about farming simulators. This one it's called Donut County, and it's a it's a physics game where you, are a raccoon, and you have this new app on your phone that opens a hole, in in a little part of the world. 
And that hole, you can move around and you drop things in it. So you start with like little stuff, right? Like little, a little vase or a little plant. And then as stuff goes in there, the hole gets bigger until where you're like, you're dropping whole houses into the hole. <laughs> and, you know, there's a whole silly story behind it. This raccoon has a friend and the he just engulfs the whole town into this hole and through this app. And, uh, and it's centered around donuts. Like there's a big donut store in the city. Which is my favorite kind of food, and it's just—it's a really just awesome chill out game, where you're you're dropping stuff in holes. It's really fun, and I really enjoyed it. And it's like it's on everything. It goes on sale often on on Switch. I highly recommend it. It's an easy, it's an easy platinum. I don't know if I did platinum it, but it's easy. Yeah. So check it out, Donut County. It's been it's been out for a while, and uh, I've been meaning to get on it and. Yeah, it's a good one. I would love For to some sure. if you guys check it out one Donut day. Donut County, I'll have to mm-hmm. check it out. That sounds interesting. Uh, maybe it'll end up on the PlayStation uh, Premium Store. It should. Or... That should. That should be one that goes on. That'd be a good one. I hope it does. And then if it does, I'll check it out. All right, and now we will move over to our soapboxes uh, to wrap up the episode. And we'll start with uh, Tomas. Now he seems to have started right, cool. playing a game. Uh, yeah, I started playing the new Saints Row. Now, this is coming from a person who hasn't played any of the other Saints Rows. Okay, so I'm going to caveat this this uh, soapbox with that. I've never played any other Saints Row. So please, for those of you that really like Saints Row... I'm going to need you to get way off my back here. Okay. <laughs> I'll get all the way off that then for you. Yeah, all right. Thank you. Um, so I really like it. I, to me, it's a perfect, slightly comical, uh, I don't know, cre- crime building empire. I don't know what you'd call it's it. It's almost like a spoof of it, of, yeah, it's, I, I was talking to Alan about it. I said, it's kind of like GTA. And then I would asked Alan, I said, because I've never really played GTA either. I think I played San Andreas a little bit. And I was like, but I said to Alan, I said, but does GTA have a good story? And he's like, yeah, GTA's story is usually pretty good. And I was like, okay, well, it's not like GTA and the story. <laughs> because it's it's not a great story. It's it's. I mean, you're essentially just building a criminal empire. But... It is really fun just to have fun with it. Like you were saying with the Donut County, Kyle, I can uh-huh. I can sit and kill two, three hours in, in Saints and really get nothing done, but still feel like I had a good time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and so I, I've been really enjoying it. The one downfall to me is... And, this is this is gonna sound weird because I know a lot of games have come out recently that have been unplayable when they first come out. And I don't know if it's just that I've always waited to buy those games or I've just always gotten lucky that I've never gotten one of those uh game breaking uh glitches or anything like that. But I will say this about Saints Row for the game that it is. It's not a complicated game. At least it doesn't feel complicated to me or anything. And it just has so many glitches, man. Like <laughs> I get I get kicked out of it at least once every time I'm playing it. It goes like error. And I'm just like, what the So like I don't know why this is the first time that it's hitting me, that it is so annoying to have a game come out before it's really finished. But it is, and so for, especially, I think, like, Alan, I've probably given the most shit about it, too. So, for, but I've probably done it to you, too, Kyle. So I, I just want to apologize to both of you, because I didn't realize how absolutely mind-numbing it could be. Like, you're having fun, you're in the middle of something, and then it's just, like, error. And it's like, oh, gosh. <laughs> you know, like, last night, I was trying to do a mission. I died like three times trying to do it, and I finally got what I needed to do to get the mission. And I pick it up, and I'm starting to leave, and it's like error. I, I just quit that night. I was like, I can't do this anymore. 
So I'm really enjoying the game, except for this stupid, what are you these stupid error thing again on the PS5. Five. Huh? Yeah. It's just it's it's. And Is once again, P- I'm not it's a, a PS4 game though, right? No, it's a PS5 game. Oh, Saints Row. Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's pretty sad. The new one that just came out. Yeah, it's, oh, it's the oh. reboot. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's. Yeah, that so sucks. I'm pretty disappointed because it's not like Witcher or something where where it seems like there's a lot that went into the game and a lot that went into the visuals and stuff. It doesn't feel like that in this game. So it just is kind of like, well, why am I why did you guys rush this? Like I don't When how long ago did it come out? It came out I think in August or maybe okay. before that. I don't know. Yeah, I think that's gonna be Hopefully not a trend forever, but I think it's going to be like that for a while because, you know, yeah, we've talked about it, cyberpunk for a while and there's still, yeah, like, that thing it's rolling, just that but... like, it's just that like when people used to say stuff like that, I don't know if I had just been lucky up until that point and oh, never okay. got a game like that, yeah. but I was just like, I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> like it'll I would it'll be a month and two days. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. So like. So I got games that were essentially pretty glitchy right off the bat. Like the most, the the biggest one I can think of is is Witcher. Yeah. And yeah. I didn't have Cyber the same Punk kind company. of problems that people were having with Witcher. I I heard people talking about, oh, the game froze here, the game crashed here, blah blah blah. And maybe it's because I didn't like play Witcher for hours on end, so I only got certain amounts of time to play it. You know. Yeah. So I so there were patches that were coming out quicker than I was beating the game but in this one it's just like yeah i I get an hour into it and it's like error kicked off and it's like well i guess i'll do something else then because i don't want to re-upload everything (laughs) right well welcome to the party pal yeah Yeah. that's very disappointing because i actually was kind of excited for that game i wait for, for it to minute. go out on sale wait for oh, it to I'm go out on sale i'm not even gonna touch it, it I'm, i've got so it, much to play so it's but. it's a fun game but for the price man it's just if i hadn't got it for a birthday present i would have been very upset about spending oh, that bet. kind of money it's just the games are so humongous now like going in mm. and getting those bugs it's just it's so yeah. there's too much work there's we can't it just can't be done. I don't even know how to do it. Well, so. I kind of feel like it's a little bit on the consumers too, because I wasn't a diehard fan for Saints Row, I guess. So I could have waited three months for this game to come out polished. Maybe there are people yeah, out there who just should, really a wanted thing, a Saints though. Row it should, game. It should be if it's going to come out, it should be polished. Not well. That's what I'm saying. I feel like out. though. Just I feel like though months. they. Well, I feel like they though they release these things earlier though than than the oh, yeah, designers can deal with yeah. because and we yeah Constantly I have pushing it. I so. have my we all have our thoughts on that but yeah yeah, yeah. but anyways correct. so that that's my soapbox I still think it's definitely an enjoyable game and if you can find it for sale get it because it's it's fun and it's it's just it's mind numbing enough but interactive enough that you can literally sit down for a couple hours as long as you don't get kicked off and and <laughs> yeah. have some fun. Right. Yeah, I'm getting ready oh, to get back and, to Cyberpunk. And one thing and one thing I'll say about it that really blew me away about it was the customization. That game, you can customize almost anything. It blows me away how much is customizable. So that is one thing that I really am enjoying I about so it. Many other bugs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but that is one of the more, things that I'm more, really enjoying. More, uh, more gears. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, uh, why don't you go ahead and go, Kyle? You, you're talking about a game. Okay. That you're, yeah. You're wrapping up. Yeah, I and this has been ongoing. I forget when Psychonauts two came out, but it was before. Uh, well, it was around the time the Series X came out, which has been like we're getting on a couple of years. No, because it came out. I think it's been two years. years. Yeah, I think it's been two years. Around that time. So I started it back then and completely forgot about it. But it's on Game Pass, and I didn't have Game Pass for a while. So now that it's back, I was like, oh, yeah, I got to be at the end. And um, Alan, I feel like you're, you're kind of the player. And correct me if I'm wrong, but like if you go back to a game that you've played, you, you just start over, right? Like if it's been yeah. a year. 
Yeah, it well it depends on the game. There are some games that I've been like, I'm not, I'm not doing that beginning again. Uh, but yeah, most of the time, uh, I'm like, all right, if it, if I only got like an hour or so into it, I probably want to start over. Like that's that's me. I can put I I can put a lot of hours into a game, and if I put it down and then come back to it later, I'm like, well, I'm just okay. restarting it. <laughs> yeah. All right. So Tomas, that's definitely it. yeah. You're right. Yeah. I, I remember talking to you about that, especially like uh, with Skyrim. How many times did you start Skyrim? Yeah, over? Skyrim, man. Yeah. Well, don't even. Yeah. <laughs> that's a whole podcast. That's a whole yeah. episode. Um. So, anyways, I'm the opposite. I refuse to start over unless you know 100 percent necessary um to the point where i haven't beaten games because of it final fantasy 6 is one of those games because <clears throat> yeah. i'm going to spoil that game real quick final fantasy 6 the world like blows up practically like the world ends in that game and that's like not the end of the game so <laughs> i had like just hit that part in final fantasy 6 where like everything goes to crap and the world mm. is split and the whole map has changed. The whole world maps changed. And I put it down for like a couple of years and I went back. I was like, well, I've never beaten this because I refuse to start over. I'm not putting <laughs> another 20 hours into this game. And I'm doing that with Psychonauts 2 right now. Luckily it's a little bit more linear and straightforward mm-hmm. and uh, you're not just dungeon crawling. Um, so I finally figured out what I was supposed to do almost on accident, which is kind of how I think the game's supposed to be. You're kind of, because you go into people's minds. And mm. so anyhow, I I thought I was going to finish it the other night and it turns out there's a, like a whole nother like section. Like I got another couple hours to go and I was like, oh, well, never mind. Uh, and I was hoping to get it done by this, by, to, by the cast while yeah. recording this, but it's like, nope. It just keeps on going, and it's a heavy story, and it's fun, and I recommend it, but at the same time, I don't know. Some people said it like on their Game of the Year list when it came out. I, I don't know. Yeah? I, I don't know. I don't know if I see it. It's it's mm. it's really good story, really good characters, and um, and I will beat it, but at the same time, it's, it's dragging on for me. So uh, I'll yeah. get there. Update. Yeah. Next time. For sure. I'll have to, yeah, I'll have to find out when you finish it up. I've never played the first one, so it's always been one I've been wanting to. First one's I've great. Seen, I, seen, I recommend yeah. the first one. Yeah, I've never played the first one. I've seen people play it and stuff. And it, yeah, it looked fun, but it was a little before my time. It would be before. it would be hard to go back to if you want. I would yeah. say go to number two if you wanted to because you don't have yeah. – that bias, right? Like I, yeah, I the yeah. first one. I love the first one. It's not quite that, but I also wouldn't want to play the first one now because the controls. Yeah. And it's so it's glitchy. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's an old game. Sure. Uh, yeah, I think I have it for Xbox or something. I think <laughs> yeah. <I have> it. <laughs> but anyways, um, well, I guess I'll just end with mine and uh, uh. So I finally finished Yakuza Zero. Yay! Uh, yeah, I finally got through it. Are you um, part of the, the story itself is not game? super long, but I. What was that? Are you are you in the Yakuza yourself you now? Officially yeah. in the Yakuza. I don't know if anybody knew this, but the games are actually an intro course, and then at the end, you <laughs> you, you they take you to a tattoo artist in Japan, and uh, yeah, it's I've just been grooming you the whole time. So, since, so yeah. they. Do- so they do it the old the old school Yakuza way and everything with the bamboo shaft where they stab it into you over and over again. And... Yeah, see? Yeah, you, you got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you yeah. got it. But anyways, <laughs> now I finished it. Uh, the story is freaking phenomenal. Probably the best story I've played in a long time. Uh, really? I wanted to I, immediately I will, jump into one. What's up? I will say seeing those games i've only seen like trailers for those games and stuff i would have never thought that story would have been oh, yeah. what that game was this centered is, around. Yeah, the story is the focus yeah it's yeah the main uh, focus. It, it's great it's a really good story actually i think you'd like it tomas like, yeah i think yeah i like it. it's it's I, very gangster I, I, Style. I downloaded I downloaded one of them that was free on the PS network. Uh yeah, they yeah, just they released try it out. 7 for free recently and then not too long ago they released uh Yakuza Kiwami which is 
the remake of the first one that was on PS2, um, which is the <laughs> one I'm going through right now. Uh, mm. But I did, so I did, I did finish Zero. Uh, like I said, the story's phenomenal. It leads like perfectly into the first one, and so now, and I, all I want to do is go to the first one, but. I felt obligated to do a bunch of side stuff, so I was doing that for a bit. <laughs> I did all the side stuff except for the uh, cabaret clubs, um, which it's a fun mini game, but it's it's just it's too much of the same thing over and over again. I just I was just like I just couldn't get into it, so I ended up moving on. It's basically uh, uh, so like a cabaret club is kind of like a strip club, but with no stripping. Just like you're just talking to the, to the, to the, mm. to the woman. It's just a lonely club. An interesting club. concept. <laughs> it's, a lonely club. it's just a lonely club. You're just. I guess I'm, I'm it's lonely, a, so. I guess it's a really popular yeah. thing. I don't know uh -huh. in, in in Japan. I've never. I, I guess we, we have never had anything like that out in, in the West. But well, uh, it's, it's an interesting it gives idea. You a, it gives you the idea of attention. Like, yeah, exactly. Which is, really what you want in a lot of those places so it's just whatever so it's an interesting idea and it's it, it but i just couldn't get into the running the cabaret club it was it was fine but it was just like again i just gotta do this over and over and over again i was like i i, I i've done the story i really want to see what happens next i don't really don't yeah, think this yeah. means anything for me so i moved on uh and so now i'm in the i'm in this one but uh this one's the story's I think it's just as good. It's definitely an older game. You can definitely tell that this it's a different like it doesn't have as many bells and whistles, but you also can tell they went back and added some stuff. Mm. So, uh it's been really fun though. I've been really enjoying the first one too, but the Zero was a a high recommendation for me for sure the story, but the problem is is every every ranking list is like Zero is like the top for the story mm. for everybody. And so I'm like concerned. Uh oh. Uh, but like, all the other ones. Yeah, third that. zero and seven, mm. which is like yeah, I was gonna say like a dragon is good. Are like the ones that usually kind of toss up. People are like, which one's better? Uh, but mm -hmm. I, yeah, well, maybe that's it though. That. If you really stick with it and you get back up to seven, you get back to like a dragon. You'll be like, okay, like, I, that's I, I kind of what much. I'm trying to do it is yeah. uh yeah. That's so why I'm trying to do it because my brother actually did seven and then he did zero, and so it's kind of. But now you've done both of the like <laughs> best ones, and, and now but you're like just going the maybe rest that's of them. it. I mean, uh, uh, is he gonna do the rest of them? Yeah, he's already he's doing one as well. Oh, okay. Right now. Yeah, but your brother is like he'll play it all. Oh yeah, yeah even if he anything. doesn't really like it, I feel like. Yeah. I don't know about that, but yeah, but I'm I'm planning on going through them all right now. I'm still on the buzz, man. Those the that's stories cool. have been pretty crazy. My only yeah. complaint from those games so far is saving. So it saves mm -hmm. after there is no like auto save. Oh, they ask you really? to save oh. after story oh, missions. After yeah. story missions. So yeah. you can save that way. But if you do like a bunch of side quests and mm. either something happens where you you turn it off uh and d it doesn't save luckily like the consoles go to sleep now and stuff so usually you know you'll be back in but like yeah. I had a power outage when i after mm -hmm. i did like about six or seven side quests and i had forgotten to save so i had to run through them again can you so, manually save it, you can though? manually save so right. in zero you have to go to a payphone to save in uh, Kwame, the first one, uh, you do have a cell phone, so you can save anywhere uh, with your cell phone because you have to go to a cell, a phone to save. Mm. So it's interesting. Also, you played Zero, right, Kyle? No, I haven't played any of them. Oh, I've I thought you watched said you them. played Zero for a little bit. Oh, you just watched. Okay, so I will give a warning. Um, there, it, it is mature. Yeah. Um, oh, and. Yeah. There is, for instance, in Zero, uh, you can unlock these little, uh, like little soft core. They're not, they're not porn, but they're like on the cusp of, <laughs> of it. Uh, well, Japanese, see. yeah, Japanese culture is a lot more. Yes. It doesn't bother uh, me, but I just, yeah. I'm just giving you a heads up. 
that it does. And I, they're yeah. like achie- there are just, achievements for going, and you can skip them. So you don't have to watch mm-hmm. them. But there are achievement. There's achievement for what for watching them. Uh, so many, and there's actually a storyline that actually connects to them too. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm I'm probably never gonna play them. I enjoyed watching yeah. someone else play them. You know, in the background. Yeah. But the yeah. main story is phenomenal. Like you probably just go on YouTube or something and just watch the main watch story. Watch them. Yeah. Be fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, because they're just so well done. That let me ask you. Cool. Let me ask you guys a question about about that game and some games in general. How much of a completionist are you guys? Because Alan, you mentioned you wanted to do some some side quest yeah. stuff, but I, with me for Psychonauts, I was doing that, and I realized I I'd rather just get this done and say I beat it. Yeah. Than get, and if I want to go back, then maybe I'll go back. But how much I are feel, you guys? Yeah. And I've been struggling with it because, uh, especially with Zero, as I really wanted to get to the next game, but I wanted to because there are some side quests that have characters that are in the next games that are like their preemptive versions of them. So I kind of wanted to catch those, and I think I got them all. Um, but I did notice that when I read looked online, like people were saying like 120 hours to do all the side content and stuff, Ooh. and I was like. I don't want to do that. I already put 70 hours in and I really just want to go to the next game at this point. Mm-hmm. So, you, so I'm becoming more like I just need to make that decision and move on, not focus too hard. But then again, in Kwame, I'm already doing like I'm in chapter four and I'm like, okay, like where's the list of all the side quests? I'm going to go do all the <laughs> now. So, yeah. I'll go to the next one. So yeah. yeah. But so, so I don't know. Me- it's hard to decide if it's, it's very important. Yeah. So for me, a lot of it actually, I'm discovering a lot of it actually has to do with the map. Oh, I cannot stand having indicators on my map. It drives me ah. nuts. If I open up my map and you show me that I can go here and do something, I want to go do it before the main quest. I, I don't know what it is, but I always like getting my side quest stuff done before my main quest stuff. But on games that they don't give me a map, I actually usually find that I don't do a lot of side quest stuff. Like Sekiro, for example, World. Sekiro has no map. Okay. I missed I missed a good chunk of Sekiro gameplay that I never even realized was there because I never had an indicator to go there. Elden Ring. There's not one part of Elden Ring I didn't explore because I could see everywhere I was going. Yeah, interesting. So, um, so I I used to think it was I was a completionist. Lately, though, I've been discovering that I think it's just I can't stand clutter. It's a little OCD. Like, yeah. I, yeah. Like, well, that's well then then you'll probably miss a lot of it in Yakuza because they actually don't you don't know it's there until it, until you bump into it. So, yeah, see, I could probably, I that would probably be fine for is, my style. What is play, cool though? But... You you said map, and it got me thinking. I was like, what is cool? It's like in Zero versus into Kiwami. Uh, apparently, in all the Yakuza games, it's one section of Tokyo. It's the same oh, section. Wow. So each t- so each game, at least the second one so far, you see the first one, and then now you get to see the same map, but mm-hmm. seventeen years in the future. Later. And then, okay, so, and then cool. the next game is like the same map again, but in, you know more in the future and stuff. And so mm-hmm. it just catches up to current times. So you get to see the development, mm-hmm. and it's an actual place in Tokyo. Like you can go mm-hmm. visit it, and it's mapped out from. Yeah, there. that's cool. I, that's cool. I've heard about that a lot. But anyways, um, I hope we answered your question, Kyle. Did you answer your? Yeah. Did you want to answer? Your no, the, okay, that, cool. yeah, the, and the, with the map thing too. I didn't even think about that. That's interesting. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to so, pay attention next time I, I, I'm in that mood. <laughs> well, I hope so. Uh, I think we this was much longer than I was expecting it to do, but it's all right. Uh, we will have to catch you in another two weeks, and we'll see what we talk about them. So come and join us when that happens, and we'll talk to you later. Have a good one. All right. Bye.